Yeah, yeah, hey, yeah. He on the swag surfing Atlanta, <laughs> but also, man, the Falcons beat Tampa Bay in an overtime win. He threw for 500 yards, which he's making records already, four touchdowns and one interception. But check this last play of the game. So this was the play that really made them win in overtime. This was the walk-off touchdown. This was the walk-off touchdown. It was captured by yours truly. No way. Running and gunning. That's you, Peggy? Yeah. In the scrum. In the scrum. Get in there, Peggy! Get in there. Hold on. I had to wash my knees. <laughs> wash my legs now. Wash my legs now. Look at my boy. He out effort you, Peggy. Hey. Don't let him get the shot, Peggy. Bruh. What is he doing? He trying to get the ball. He trying to get the ball. The dude in the red. What is the dude in the red doing? The dude in the red. You didn't see him? Yeah, let me see that one time. I was watching my legs, bro. Hold on. <laughs> Look at the dude with the red vest. Right here. No. No. Right oh, there. This dude. Follow him. Oh, no, no, no. The reason why he came in is a photographer. Boom, right there on the ground. They trample a photographer. That's why my ass got sense. And he got a knee brace, Cam. I don't even know if you see it. I wish I could zoom in. Wow. If you go close to the screen. He's on the ground. I was running in. I seen them jumping him. I said, you know what? Hey. <laughs> Exactly. It better be I want to live to tell the story. You, you know what I'm saying? Live to tell the story. So Don't die there. for the shot. Yeah, live exactly. to tell the story. So Buddy in the red is going there. He's seeing him in fetal position with a knee brace on his knee, just how I probably would have had. And he's like, bro, save my fellow TV person. Look at him. That's what he getting. He getting to him. Wow. They trampled the boy. Peggy got to live to tell the story. I'm here back And I guess the producer is basically going to ask, did you get the shot? Though? I mean, golly. Did you, did you press record, though? <laughs> but he didn't know. I mean, bro, he got trampled. The only thing I heard was like, no, somebody's down there. And I looked, I seen, I said, you know what? I'm good where I'm at. I'm mm. good where I'm at. I'm you good. good. You, 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 you shooting it on a point five. You, you, you know what I'm saying? You <laughs> ain't trying to be zoomed in there. Got you, you ain't on portrait mode. <laughs> no. Uh, you, you, you ain't in the scrum. You observing the scrum. There you go. You know huh? what I'm saying? Hey, there you go. But let me stay here real quick. And and please, please, and as soon as I seen it, because there's another clip, too, that I saw you. Like, I seen you before anybody else really, or when everybody else seen you. But um, when you was, when you gave the phone to Gadara Hodge, Hodges mm -hmm. after the game, is it Hodge or Hodge? Hodge. Hodge. Okay. So, like, I seen you way before you even had access to really like your phone. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because I seen how you was the person being contracted through the NFL yeah. as the vertical content person. All that content that you see on the NFL is from contractors, right? Correct. But I saw you and I was like, yo, bro, I think it's so important for creators or creatives to really understand your road to glory. Yeah. That's not it's 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 almost like a hustle in itself. Every time a person wants to come and work for Iconic Saga, they always insinuate, man, I want what Peggy do. But I'm like, way before there was a Peggy, there was Omari who worked his ass off and still is hustling. Yeah. By the way. So speak on just the the journey and what is it like from a creator standpoint in your position? Yeah, so I mean, this is gonna be kind of the synopsis of the show, you know, later even with News Law. But I mean, it's it's tough. It's it's a hustle, like you said. It's just you know you out there being able to capture moments because it's like even with a play perspective, like they don't redo those plays over again. It's like oh, I missed the touchdown. Can't run that back. Like, nah, like you gotta be on it, like hustling, and then hustling for opportunities. Cause because this is just one game. The next day you back at work hustling again, doing whatever you gotta do. So it's been a long journey. Like you said, it's like I haven't even arrived yet. In my mind, it's like I'm still hustling, yeah. still grinding. Um, and grateful to obviously you, Iconic Saga, the NFL, um, you know, even the time with Carolina at the Panthers working with them. And it's all just a hustle, and you got to compartmentalize. A lot of it is that part. 
But some would ask, mm -hmm. Peggy, you working with Cam. Yeah. Cam don't pay you enough for you not to work or be contracted with the NFLs? Yeah, I would say so. But it's also, too, leveraging and having everything work within itself. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? It's like Cam has his own brand within the NFL. And it's it, it, obviously it's, it's helpful, too, to be able to have my connections in the NFL as well because Correct. it all works together. It's like, look, Cam, I met this person. You might, because it's harder for people to probably to reach you or they mm -hmm. have to reach your agent or reach somebody else. It's kind of like they beeline and like, yo, Omar, can you connect this with Cam, X, Y, Z? And so I think even with this, I love the connection. I love the people that I work with um, and the people that actually make the NFL run, like knowing those people behind the curtain. And I think that's something that is important because it's so much knowledge that goes into that, which honestly helps with Iconic Saga as a whole of knowing yeah. how things work behind the scenes. So for me, I think it's important because you would think that I would be in my feelings because of Peggy's new found stardom. Mm -hmm. I was respectfully. Yeah. It's like, yo, bro, like, ain't he supposed to be exclusive to no, 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 no. My words exactly to Amari Garvin. Collins. Garvin. Garvin. <laughs> is this. I need you to be the best version of yourself. This is not bondage. This is not handicapping. This is not suppressing. This is not capping. This is not just covering you in your creative and who you really want to be. If you want to go work alongside with the NFL, go do that. Because the more that Peggy knows, or let's just say the more that Omari knows, works hand-in-hand -hand with Peggy and the value Peggy can bring to Iconic Saga. For sure. You see what I'm saying? It's yeah. like I don't want nobody to think that working alongside with me it's going, I, I'm going to get in my feelings to say, bro, hell, why are you working with them, bro? Like, ain't you getting, yes, bro. That motherfucker right there with that orange hat on, he's expensive. <laughs> Make no mistake about it. And he's worth every single dime. So I don't want nobody to think like, damn, this motherfucker Cam ain't paying shit, so that's why you got it. No, bro. It's, it's not that. It's like, bro, stay curious, stay fresh with, yeah you know, the curiosity to become a better creative. Because the better you are at create, creating and being to explore all your creativity in the art of cinematography, videography, photos, and things like that, it's so going to... Come and bring it back to the career. You, you know see what, what I'm saying? saying? Yeah. And vice versa. So Thanks. it's a appreciation. It's not bondage. Mm -hmm. It's not like, no, nigga, you go over there. Well, shit, fuck you then. Like, no, bro. That's not healthy. Yeah. That's That's... That's a imprisonment. Facts, 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 facts. You just learn so much by going and seeing. I'm seeing yeah. the Thursday night football set up, seeing the game, the experience. So are we able to talk about it here and just add context to like, no, the crowd was like this. No, yeah. you know. They the first were doing, thing I yeah. asked you when you came to fellowship was what? Bro, well, I was the crowd. Like the crowd. Was, that shit was crazy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, for sure. So it's just like, and then one thing about Atlanta crowd is totally different from a lot of other places. You, just, it just got a certain swagger, like. In Mercedes Benz versus you going to so Mercedes. even to that point, it's a it's a very cultured crowd, very much so, yeah. and so much so that it's so exciting to play this clip right here. It's perfect when you seen Kurt Cousin Swag Surfing. Swag Surfing. You don't have to know what press pause right there. If somebody has to tell you what song is playing. You, you ain't lost. Part. You already lost. You, you are already ready to clear. You, if you had to like, what is Kurt doing right now? If yeah. you have to ask yourself that, mm -mm. it's over. It's certain things that you just know. It's yeah. like, oh, you swag, sir. You swag, sir. What I really wanted to know is, I wanted to see the, the, the crowd. actual crowd yeah. because he's getting it. Like he's that's, learning that from somebody. That's the showman of athletes, of entertainers, wrestlers, of no matter what it is, it's the showmanness yeah. of the sport that we all can appreciate. And Kirk Cousins, you had a fucking day, sir. Yeah. And 
to do that, to cap it off with that, it was like, oh shit. I ain't know you had that in you. I ain't know you had it in you, Kirk. <laughs> but that motherfucker, uh, uh, Atlanta damn uh, 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 swagger is, is, is becoming of you. So yeah, fitting. Yeah, he was manifesting that. He, he knew it was man. coming. Straight he up. Knew it was coming.